Hello and welcome to 15th session of ASME B31.3 course. This is Ali and I hope you are doing well. In this session, I'm going to talk about pressure design of fittings. Pipe fittings are piping components that help in changing the direction of the flow such as elbow and bend, changing the size of the pipe such as reducer and switch nipple, connecting different components such as coupling and union, stopping the flow such as cap and plug, branching such as outlet, velvet, socket, elbowlet, threadlet, nipplet, lateralet, sweepolet, T, reducing T, across and bush. In this course, our focus will be on the pressure design of listed component in table 326.1, component standard of ASME B31.3. Let's find which standard is determined by the code for fittings. ASME B16.9 for factory made route butt welding fittings and ASME B16.11 for forged fitting socket welding and threaded. The application of those standards related to the method used for manufacturing fittings and end connection types. Therefore, it's essential to review them before referring to the standard. Forged steel fittings are pipe fittings that are made from forged carbon steel material. Forging steel is a process that creates very strong fittings. Carbon steel is heated to molten temperatures and placed in the dies. The heated steel is then machined into the forged steel fittings. A small size fittings are manufactured via this method because it doesn't need huge pressure hammer. They will be connected to other piping component with socket weld or threaded connections. Route steel fittings made from cut plates and pipes. The process will be continued by forming, sizing, heat treating, and beveling. Commonly, large size fittings are manufactured with this method. They will be connected to other piping components with a butt weld connection. It's a good time to review various types of end connection of piping components. Each connection types has its own pros and cons. Butt weld. The end of two components is prepared in accordance with ASME B16.25 and figure 328.4.2 of ASME B31.3, typical butt weld end preparation. By tack welding, they will be connected together. Then, by groove welding, they will be connected permanently. It's preferred to use this method for NPS equals 2 and larger due to difficulties that may be faced during fit up of small sizes, especially during shield metal arc welding, SMAW. However, when we use TIG or tungsten inert gas or MIG metal inert gas, we can connect small sizes of piping components together by butt welding. Socket weld. The fitting simply has a socket with an inner diameter that is ever so slightly larger than pipe's other diameter. The pipe is inserted into the socket and is welded around the rim. Socket weld connections are usually reserved for small sizes. They are permanent connections that are reliably leak-free threaded connections. In this method, the piping components typically has female threaded end connection and the male threaded pipe fits into them. The fitting and pipe must both be created using the same standard for threading in order to make a proper connection, flanged connections. In this method, two components connect together with bolts and flanges. For example, flange type valve that connect to flange. We will discuss this method in the future sessions. Let's go back to the pressure design. For pressure design of forged fitting that connects to other piping components with socket welding or threaded, we should refer to ASME B16.11. 
based on paragraph 2.1 of ASME B16.11. General, fittings under this standard shall be designated as class 2000, 3000, and 6000 for threaded end fittings and class 3000, 6000, and 9000 for socket weld end fittings based on paragraph 2.1.1 basis of rating the schedule of pipe corresponding to each class designation of fitting for rating purposes is shown in table 7. It means that the thickness of pipe will determine the class designation of forged fittings. Actually, wall thickness calculation of pipe is the most important part of pressure design of piping components. You will see that how thickness of pipe used for pressure design of other piping components. In Table 7 of ASME B16.11, correlation of fittings class with schedule number or wall designation of pipe for calculation of rating. You can determine the class of forged fittings based on pipe thickness and type of connection. For threaded connection, three classes are listed, 2000, 3000, and 6000. However, using 2000 is not popular. It means that for 3 fitting are available in the market in class 3000 and 6000. The class or rating of threaded forged fitting will be 3000 if the wall thickness calculation of connected pipe is scheduled 160 or less than. Please note that this class is dimensionless. However, it's common to use LB or pound after class. Despite the fact that this class had a history that led to these numbers, now it doesn't tell us about the pressure or temperature it can sustain. Actually, we have already considered design pressure and temperature during wall thickness calculation of the pipe. After that, relying to the selected thickness for the pipe, we will specify class or rating for forged fittings. The class of threaded forged fitting, that wall thickness calculation of connected pipe has been led to thickness greater than schedule number 160, it's 6000 pound. Let's check socket welding forged fitting. For pipe with thickness equal to schedule number 80 or equivalent wall designation excess or extra strong and less than, the class is 3000. For pipe with thickness greater than schedule number 80 up to schedule number 160, the class is 6000. For pipe with thickness greater than schedule number 160, the class is 9000. I have come across engineers who don't know about the concept of forge fitting class, which caused challenges and imposed extra cost on the project because they only select the higher class conservatively. Same as class of forged fittings, there is a debate about range of size of forged fittings. In this case, we should refer to table 6 of ASME B16.11 types of fittings by class designation and NPS or nominal pipe size range. Except street elbows, threaded forged fittings are available for NPS equals 4 and less in 3000 and 6000 classes. Street elbows only available up to NPS equals 2. However, please note that we can use threaded connection only where the code allows. In this case, we shall refer to paragraph 314 of ASME B31.3 threaded joints. Street elbows, square hex and round plug hex and flash pushing are not available in socket welding connection type. In other words, this fitting can be used in threaded connection. Other fittings, 45 degrees, 90 degrees elbows, T's, crosses, couplings, 
half couplings and caps are available in NPS 1824 size range if class designation is 3000 for class 6000 and 9000 mentioned fittings are available for NPS equals 2 and less please note that socket weld forged fittings are used for sizes below NPS equals 2 typically actually it's preferred to use butt welding fittings for NPS equals 2 and larger where the code permits threaded forged fittings can be used up to NPS equals 4 however same as the socket weld threaded forged fittings are popular in NPS equals one and a half and lower for pressure design of factory made route butt welding fittings we should refer to paragraph 2.1 of ASME B16.9 basis of ratings the allowable pressure rating for fittings designated in accordance with this standard may be calculated as for a straight seamless pipe or equivalent material as shown by comparison of composition and mechanical properties in the respective material specification in accordance with the rules established in the applicable section of ASME B31 code for pressure piping for the calculation applicable data for the pipe size wall thickness and material that are equivalent to the fitting shall be used pipe size wall thickness or schedule number and material identity on the fittings are in lieu of pressure rating markings it means that butt welding fittings has the same thickness of connected pipe therefore we should specify the thickness of butt welding fitting as per pipes schedule through this session you got familiar with the reference for size and class of forged fitting also we covered pressure design of route butt welding fittings next session will be a workshop where using an example we will determine the class and rating of some fittings thanks for being with us